How to insert and modify automatic page numbering. Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and I'm going to demonstrate how to insert and modify page numbering, automatic page numbering, in a multiple page Word document. Well, the first thing that you see on the screen is just a plain Word document, and it has, uh, it only has three pages on it, in it. But uh, as I scroll down the pages, you'll see that uh, there's nothing in any of the margins. There's no page numbers anywhere. It's just pretty much plain text. So automatic page numbering is really great because uh, once you set it up, and it's very quick and easy, once you set it up, it will maintain page numbering in your document as you, whenever you use it. So you can save it, close it, reopen it on another day, and if you want to add more pages, it'll automatically adjust those page numbers. So you don't have to go in and retype them all the time. Okay, so uh, to find the automatic page numbering section, on your ribbon up here, you would go to the Insert tab. And over here on the towards the right there is a group called header and footer and in that group you have a menu choice called page number. If you hover your mouse over that you can see the screen tip and it'll give you a little more information about what you can do. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and these are the choices you have. You can uh, hover your mouse over each one to see the choices that are available for that particular um, method top of the page page numbering, bottom of the page, they even have page numbering in the margins uh, that are, it's a little bit more unconventional but you can select from uh, some very interesting looking things. You can even go online, uh, like here, more page numbers from office.com, go online and uh, if you don't see anything you like here and go online to find something you do like. So. Um, I personally like to put my page numbers at the bottom of the page, so I'm going to hover my mouse here over bottom of page, and I could choose one of these very conventional, um, simple ones, or I can scroll down. Remember, always remember your, to look for your scroll bars because uh, you, if you don't, you might be missing out on some really great stuff. Um, as I scroll down and get into more um, complex page numbering. Some of it has shapes or colors or you know figures that you can include. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pick out the one I saw earlier, this one, the one with brackets. So once I click on this, it just inserts them automatically. And if I, if I scroll down, if I scroll down, uh, here's page two, and you can see there's page two, the page two numbering. You'll also notice that everything kind of looks grayed out, and there's this dotted line, and there's these little labels. There's a footer at the bottom of, of each page, and there's a header at the top of each page. Also, look at the top, look at your ribbon. You have a new ribbon up here that this whole ribbon is completely New, uh, different and new from what you have seen before um, if you haven't worked with headers and footers in the past. Automatic page numbering automatically will go into the header or footer section of a document. The header and footer uh, section is a uh, near the margins, near the top and bottom margins, and it's where um, repeated things can be seen on every page, including page numbering such as this. So if you wanted to put, you know, the title of this book or your name as the instructor or something in the header or in the footer a section of a document, uh, this is what you would do to, to get there. You would have clicked, you could click page numbering or you could just click header or footer. I'm not going to get into headers and footers any more than that. Uh, they'll, you know, that really requires a separate video. But once you've got the page number that you want set up, then you can close the header and footer ribbon, which is over here on the right hand side. You can click here to close it or you can take your mouse and place it anywhere inside the document outside of the footer and header areas. So if I place my mouse up here or over here outside of those areas, I can just double click 
very quickly and that will put me back into the normal view where the header and footer is grayed out which means that if I click single click down here to try to change it nothing it won't work I can't get into it but if I double click over here then that will activate the header and footer area and I can change my page number if I want if I click inside notice all these little resizing handle brackets you could even rotate it to make it look tilted okay so the brackets look tilted um, that might be in a look that you want so um, again page numbering is automated if I wanted to add a new page Let's say I wanted to add a new page in between page two and page three. Notice that if I go to the very bottom of my document, the last page is page three. But if I want to add a page, uh, I can do that. Once I add the page, and uh, I just pasted something in here. Once I add the page, now check it out. There's a page four at the bottom of the document and page three is now this page so I've I now have four pages and everything got automatically adjusted as far as the page numbering goes if I delete let's say I delete page two okay here's page two let's say I want to delete this whole page I'm gonna select it and delete it and so now I'm back to just a three page document pages two and three moved up got rid of that excess space and it's all automatically numbered for me if you have any questions about automatic numbering just let me know